Hey guys, I did another updo on my hair, so let me tell you how I did it. I started off with this really uncute style that I made a little cuter with this headband. And what I actually did underneath this was go ahead and detangle and separate my hair into the sections that I wanted them in. And I went out for the day, so I had to put it in a bun and make it look kind of cute, even though it was just fulfilling the purpose that I wanted for the moment. I parted off the back into sections that I'm going to flat twist and then I parted off the top that I'm going to two strand twist. So I'm clipping the top part away and I'm going to start on the flat twist first. As you can see it's already sectioned off for me so now all I have to do is untwist and I'm going to add my product. The only products that I'm using for this style is virgin coconut oil and my echo styler gel with olive oil. And then a little later, I'm going to use water. After applying both products to my hair, I'm going to start as close to my scalp as I can. I'm going to start off with just a regular two strand twist and then I'm going to flat twist it. If you already know how to two strand twist, flat twisting will be a breeze. You're doing the same thing, but each time you twist your hair, you're grabbing a small section from underneath the twist and adding it to the twist. So you're just continuing to twist and twist and twist all the way to the end. When I get to the end of that parting, I twist a couple of more times and then I add a little bit of more product. And at this point, I normally switch my hands. It just feels more natural to do that. And then I'll continue to two strand twist all the way to the end. At the end of that section, I'll add a little bit more gel and I'll roll that hair in between my fingers. This gives an amazing curl. I just continue these same steps all throughout the rest of my head. And because I've already sectioned off and detangled my hair before I've started twisting, this is so simple and it takes no time at all. By the time I got to the back of my head, I was a little frustrated. My camera was acting crazy. It kept cutting off. So I was trying to stay in focus of the camera and then every time I turned around, the camera was off. So there's not very much footage of me twisting the back of my head. The back is already more difficult for me to do than the front of my head. So all I do is I two strand twist it a little bit and then I grab some hair. Two strand twist it a little more and then I grab more hair. So I do the back a little different than I do the front, but it all comes out and it all looks the same in the end. I know, I know, you're probably like, how did we get here? So I told y'all I was having camera issues. I just got frustrated, stopped recording, so I ended up doing all of my hair without showing you on video camera. Now as far as this little bun on top, I just did that to get my hair out of the way and looking back on it, it looks kind of cute so I could have left this style like that, but I didn't. After taking the bun out, I damp my hair a little bit with some water. Do not wet your hair, that's going to take too long to dry. Just dampen it a little bit. And now I'm going to add a little bit of Echo Styler Gel to these twists and I'm going to use perm rods to curl it up. I don't really like perm rods to be dangling because I always hit myself in the eye or something like that. So I normally try to twist it and make this little rubber band a little tighter. Now if you do this, be sure not to do it too tight because you will cause tension on your hair and you might break it off. So I pull the rubber band around a little bit to make it tight, but not too tight. The twists in front of my head are smaller than the ones in the back. So for the front twist, I added two twists per perm rod. But once I got to the back, I just added one twist on each perm rod. I 
I slept with my satin bonnet on and underneath that I had my satin scarf. So once I got up the next morning I just took that off and then I released my hair from the perm rods. I did remove the twist about a week and a half later and so I wore my hair in like a twist out like the top part where the bangs were were a twist out. I thought I took pictures of it but obviously I didn't because I can't find them. But when I had my hair like this we actually went to a Rockets versus Heat game here in Houston so I got to see all the stars up close and personal and it was amazing. The Rockets won. Yay Rockets even though we were going for the Heat. So thank y'all so much for watching and I hope I helped some of you out. Bye!